Nicole here for Netbook News and we are in the e-home. It's an apartment that's owned by ASUS to do product testing of their e-family and other products. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour while we're waiting for the e-keyboard to get set up. So over here, this would be the front, uh, the front door. We walked in through there, so there you go, to the outside. Across in here, this is the ASUS bathroom. All right, so when we head into the bedroom, we actually don't find any gadgets. Everything's been removed. So here they are setting up the e-keyboard for our lovely little demo here in the uh, Seuss home, because my home is not this nice. And there we go, Sash is in the kitchen cooking up some trouble. Yeah, just a server reboot. <laughs> oh, server reboot. <laughs> Can you tell us about this fine PC here, Sasha? Oh, I think that's an ETOP um, 1600, 1602. So that's Intel Adam N270. Um, 945 chipset, touchscreen. What is it? I think it's like a 16 inch, yeah. And in, in a user scenario where I can definitely see the device in general, means in the kitchen. It's a kitchen PC, right? You have the touch screen so you can surf the internet while you're cooking and you can look up some recipes, um, check your emails, your social networks and everything. And I think that's um, what ASUS is doing pretty well with this little e-apartment over here by having the different EPC devices in their specific user scenarios. And I think the e-top definitely belongs into the kitchen. Absolutely, absolutely. Now I'm excited to head over into the living room to check out the e-keyboard because let's just be honest. Wowee! Now I've turned on the video player, the TMT Theater um, applications and then I can enter the touchpad mode. Now I can control the on screen cursor with the touchpad here. So now if I want to turn on open the video. ASUS has changed the touchpad on this because the model I had was less receptive. This is yeah. quite, this is very responsive. This is a preview for the new um, Harry Potter movie. Okay. The 720p is actually really amazing. If you take a look at that and then what it's being delivered over, this is the ultra wideband connector right here. Um, it's fairly beefy in size. And that's why we can get such amazing playback on the TV. Really impressive. The devils are inside the walls. So this is the ultra wideband receiver. It's got a USB 2, PSU, and HDMI connector. Let's take a quick walk around the system. First we have your VGA, HDMI, Ethernet port, microphone and headphone jacks, and this is not a Kensington key lock, this is a on-off switch. Now, if you don't want to run out your battery and you want to just use the PSU, you can do that by turning it off. And I also found out that if you become embarrassed by the e-keyboard turning on in your backpack when you're on the subway, you can also hit the off switch and it'll prevent that from happening. So moving down, we have the PSU, there's the fan, three nicely spaced USBs, here's your ultra wideband connector, and here's the new feature. We have an integrated stylus. Now I believe they've done this because they've actually upgraded the touchscreen to a resistive touchscreen. And I think a stylus works a bit better. So here's a very typical usage scenario. We've got the e-keyboard playing YouTube videos up here. Let's say we don't really want to be watching, let's uh, say someone's picked the animal, pets and animals video. Let's put this full screen so we can all Enjoy the love. And you don't really want to watch that. So let's turn off the touchpad. And then down here we're going to see the news option. So I really like this reader. Because A, I'm not watching the cat video. <laughs> and B, I can change the geography. So let's just say we're in Taiwan, let's say OK, switch the language to Chinese, very handy. So let's just say we're in the United Kingdom, again, very handy. So if you want to get caught up in your world news, it's a very handy built-in reader. 
Or you could watch the YouTube video of cats. So yeah, e keyboard. Um, well, as you know, it's a little bit delayed, right? Um, we've been expecting it, or we've seen it for the first time during CB 2009 this year. Uh, we kind of been expecting it uh, this summer. Then out of a sudden it was uh, announced to be launched in October for the Windows 7 launch somehow in this, in this week, I think 43rd week or 46th week, I don't know exactly. Um, it couldn't make it at all, uh, which I'm really happy about because we had a, uh, a long talk with the developer team back in August and they've been really, really taking our advices very seriously and they added a lot of extra features and I think one fantastic feature is they are using a Broadcom chip in here which is going to accelerate your 720p and 1080p playback. That means you can do a smoothly 1080p uh, playback. Of course with uh, UWB we can only uh, do 720p wirelessly um, but 1080p when you're connecting it over VGR or HDMI like it is over here, well it's sports both um, you can easily get 1080p on your TV set. So, but talking about the launch date again, um, don't expect the e-keyboard this year. Um, we are talking about early Q1 2010, and I think that's a good decision from Asus, because right now they're really, really implementing some new features to the e-keyboard. It's getting better and better from week to week, and yeah, I think in about three months, you will be able to buy the e-keyboard. I mean, this, this is not the right layout. I'm, oh yeah, I'm we know. It. We know this yeah. is a pre-production sample, yeah. and we're just getting a little sneak peek here. So why don't you can you, can you put the e-keyboard in there, and we'll see how the uh, the final box comes together. Mm. <laughs> 